Race is underway from the 2,000 metre marker. Towards the inside, Madame at Madame's right there. War Goddess is in the early position. Alabama Sky, name of the game's going to get towards the inside running rail as Bold Boundaries moves around them. Bold Boundaries picks it up. Red Hot Chili Girl moved into second. Golden Delight's not far off the action, and Park and Fly's making a move around them. Park and Fly's going to try and commit, but it's three deep into the turn. War Goddess on the inside, name of the game, and name of the game, and Park and Fly, they're going to look to team up together. Celtic Crystal's at the paint, Madame et Madame further back in the running, sexy Shiraz. Amber Lim is second to last, Ventriloquist the trailer. Bold Boundaries towing them along a length and a half. Red Hot Chili Girls got up to race in second, but Alabama Sky racing away in third. On the outside of runners, we find Golden Delight. Park and Fly is yet to get in around them. Name of the game saves ground to the inside at the Thousand Zone. War Goddess. Celtic Crystals on the inside running rail. Madame et Madame's got about six lengths to make up. Sexy Shiraz further back in the running. Then we have Amberlynn, Ventriloquist, the trailer. Coming to the 700 metre marker and bold boundaries towing them along from Red Hot Chili Girl in second. Alabama Sky. Park and Fly's around them with Golden Delight. Name of the game, just got a scrub or two to get interested between them. Going to look for the gaps to open. 450 metres to go. Bold Boundaries has a length to spare. Red Hot Chili Girl towards the outside. Golden Delight towards the inside. Name of the game. Park and Flies come under a drive. Four lengths to make up. Ventriloquist. Golden Delight with a run, but name of the game now starts to put it together at the 200 metre marker. Golden Delight, but name of the game comes sailing into the lead and it's race over. Name of the game, three, four, five links out here. Golden Delight, second, Ventriloquist, then came Red Hot Chili Girl behind those. Race six, the maiden plate for fillies and mares over 2,000 metres, won emphatically by the short-priced favourite, number three, Name of the Game, who quickened really well over the last 200 metres to draw clear of the opposition. Firstly, congratulations to Isaac Gwamba, Thousand Rand compliments of Hollywood and Gold Circle. Very good win by your filly. Well done. Thank you very much. Keegan de Bello, not for the first time today. She said the record straight, and she said it straight in no uncertain terms. Yeah, look, um, last time I, I didn't think things went quite her way, but uh, the filly that beat on the day was looked very well, and uh, this filly could only approve. Yeah, you mentioned to me off air that perhaps uh, she just quickens more smartly off the turf track than she does on the poly track. But also, given her pedigree, she's out of a Sadler's Wells mare by twice over. The further she goes, the better. Yeah, look, I think the 200 did help today, but um, I do feel she quickens better a lot, uh, a lot better on the on the grass. On the poly, she just seems to roll a little bit and um, get f caught flat-footed. So, yeah, just full credit to the filly. She's not a big filly, but um, she's really got a heart of gold. Well done also to Terry Andrews and the missus who are watching and uh, they also bred the daughter of twice over. Now you've got two to come. You've got for the stable, meet at the George in the River Indigo Handicap from the worst of the draw and then coin spinner at the back. What do you think? Yeah, look, um, as I mentioned before, um, coin spinner probably looks, um, he looks a nice horse. Um, he needs to improve a little bit on his last win, but um, he looks like a horse with scope. Um, meet at the George in the next, sister to this filly. So... We're hoping she bounces back to form. She, she's, she's, she's needed the break and uh, she's looking well afterwards. So um, if she puts her best foot forward, um, I think she'll run a place. Keegan, well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much to Mr. and Mrs. Andrews. Well done to, well done to them. Pleasure to ride them another winner. To Nicolette, Julius and the team here. Horses are looking superb. Well done. And uh, to my boss in Cape Town, well done. Keegan Namalo. Two winners thus far today. Perhaps not yet done, but Nicolette, congratulations. She's continued to improve since you've tried her over more ground. And you must have been well pleased with the way she got the job done today. No, she won very well today. She quickened uh, very, very well on the grass today. Um, she definitely is looking for the ground, but she's got stronger and stronger as she's come up from Cape Town to run. Yeah, with every run she's improved. So, and she won in hand. So I definitely think she'll win it again shortly. Now we chatted to Keegan about meet at the George. We had you on air when we did our previous show, uh, which was recorded last week it seems like a long time ago that <laughs> with all the rain interruptions that we've had uh, we were supposed to be at hollywood vets cotswold here we are at hollywood vets gravel but we're on the turf and that's a good thing you wanted me to the george on the turf 
Uh, back of a short dress, but a wide draw to overcome. Yeah, it is a wide field, uh, a wide draw. But uh, she's a filly that likes to be covered up and, and they'll go pretty quickly. It's a very competitive feel, but she's a type of filly. She likes to have a bit of a, a break and run fresh. So I'm sure she, she'll try her best. I'm hoping for maybe a squeak of a quartet, but she's doing well at home. We're on the grass, so it should suit her and she should be running on nicely. Well, that's still to come. In the meantime, enjoy this win. Well done, Nicolette. Thank you. I just want to say well done to Mr. and Mrs. Andrews and Dean in Cape Town and a great ride from Keegan. Thank you. There we go, Nicolette Roscoe representing here in KwaZulu Natal, the Dean Canamar stable. The full result, 3, 8, 12, 9, 6 and 11. Particularly disappointing effort from Park and Fly, but she was out in the breeze. She was off the racetrack for most of the way, and I'm sure she will atone for this disappointing effort sometime in the near future.